Pope Francis says he hopes next month's polls in Central African Republic will provide a new chapter for the conflict-torn nation. He made the comments while visiting a refugee camp in the capital, Bangui, which is home to some 4,000 internally displaced people. Nearly a million people have been forced from their homes in CAR after more than two years of violence between Christian militia and Muslim rebels. The Pope told the camp's residents to work, pray and do everything for peace. Because we are all brothers, I would like it very much if we all said together, we are all brothers. And in a very significant move for both the Catholic faith and CAR, Pope Francis has declared the start of a special holy year from the steps of Bangui's Cathedral. The Pope was due to start his Jubilee Year of Mercy at the Vatican ten days from now. Instead, he launched the year-long celebration by pushing open the doors of Bangui's Notre Dame Cathedral, uh, this in a city that he's described as the spiritual capital of the world. The Pope chose to change the time-honoured tradition to bring a boost to the people of CAR. The Holy Year of Mercy is coming early to this land, a land that has suffered too long from war, hatred, incomprehension and a lack of peace. And Pope Francis has also celebrated Mass in Bangui Cathedral. He told the crowds he's come to the country as a pilgrim of peace and an apostle of hope. Joining me now is Dr. Dominic Burbage, who's a lecturer in African Studies at Oxford and a member of Catholic Voices. Thanks very much indeed for, for coming in. So, uh, this really is the first visit of a Pope to, to a war-torn area. How significant is that? It's hugely significant. The Pope has always been saying that the church is a poor church for the poor. He wants to bring it back to the people and to go to the periphery on the worst situations uh, in global issues. But what we see here is the Pope saying, it's not just a question of poverty, but it's also a question of conflict. So he's prepared to visit for the first time the papacy visiting a war-torn conflict, to visit those in need. Despite a context of interreligious conflict at times uh, that the Central African Republic has suffered, and to say, my message is one of mercy and peace. And, and that business of, of bringing forward the, the launch of the Jubilee uh, year, how, is that... I mean, clearly he's trying to you know, make an impact on the people there and, to, and put, put CAR back on the map uh, for, for, I suppose, what you might call the right reasons. No, of course. They have critical elections uh, next month. As you know, they have only a transitional government at present after uh, militants from the north uh, led a coup which led to disarray between uh, different groups. The anti-Balaka emerged uh, as a sort of loose coalition of different uh, Christian uh, members of militia to try to uh, restore order, cause a lot of interreligious violence. So the Pope is emphasizing that this is a period where we need to say, OK, much has happened. There are good re reasons for grievance on both sides. But let us not turn to anger, but try to turn towards peace and mercy. Uh, and will people listen to him? I mean, there was one um, young man I saw reported as saying he's God's diplomat. Bandits don't listen to politicians, but they will listen to him. Is that kind of sentiment wishful thinking, or do you think that young man has a point? Any conflict zone is having deep personal issues with any of those involved. And I think that's one of the things that the media normally misses. We normally frame it in terms of political factions, but then fail to see how much conflict destabilizes a person's, uh, a person's interior life, a person's ability to go with day-to-day -day duties. So it means that the Pope, not only is he saying this is a year of mercy for the church and we need greater attention for the Central African Republic, he's also, for example, in the cathedral, hearing the confessions of young people, so getting in touch with their day-to-day -day lives and to ask how can the message of God's forgiveness um, heal those wounds. And it is a very segregated country now. I mean, it didn't used to be, but this, all this violence has meant that people are living really in, in kind of enclaves, aren't they? And he actually did go to one of the, the Muslim, oh, it's not a great word, but to Muslim areas or Muslim enclaves. Tell us a bit about the kind of security that would, that would have, you know, headache for, for people with him, uh, but also what kind of message that sends. No, of course. I mean, the Central African Republic is a previous French colony, and sources close to the French Foreign Ministry had already warned that this is a too dangerous visit, and even suggesting that only, we can only guarantee security around the airport, which is, of course, extremely restrictive. The Pope wants to visit and has a refugee camp, 
the cathedral to start the year of mercy. Tomorrow he seeks to do a mass in the stadium and also to visit the mosque, which is known to be in a volatile area of town. And the reason is because he believes going to the periphery, to those in need, to ignite interreligious uh, uh, negotiations is the way forward for peace for the country. Okay, thank you very much indeed, uh, Dr. Burbage, for your thoughts. Thank